All right, so the next step is how to load paper into your Duplo machine. If you walk up to the machine and there's already paper loaded in the machine, and let's say for example, you wanted to run construction paper or cardstock, simply press the yellow button. That will lower your tray. And you notice the first sheet's fed in a little bit, so just give it a pull and then you could add your paper on top of it. Or if you'd like, you can just simply remove the paper. Also keep in mind when the machine runs out of paper, it'll drop down automatically. Okay, and then on your side guides, make sure you push up on the tab and also line it up between 8.5 and 8.5 if you're gonna run eight and a half by 11. Otherwise, if you have them off centered, such as this right now, then your copies will come out crooked. So simply push up, line it up between 8.5 and 8.5, and your copies will come out nice and straight. The next step you wanna to check too is the weight of your paper. If you are gonna run newsprint on the Duplo, adjust your paper weight lever to light, which is all the way to the bottom. Right in the middle would be considered standard paper, which is your 24 to 28 pound paper. Okay, if you're gonna run something heavier than 24 or 28 pound, you wanna adjust it all the way to heavyweight. Okay, now keep in mind, if you leave it at heavyweight and you have 28 or 24 pound paper, it may grab multiple sheets at a time. So the next step is how to change your master on the Duplo. It's very simple. All you gotta do is push the push button, and then your top drawer will open up. Go ahead and push it open. How to change it is very simple. All you gotta do is pull on this tab. The pop will open up. And if there was a master you needed to take out, just coil it back, pull it out. Get your new master roll. Keep in mind, shiny side goes face down in the cradle. Just pull back on the cradle, drop your master roll. And then from here, you would just feed your master roll to the green set line. You notice there's a green set line right there. Feed it in until the master won't advance any further. Then just go ahead and coil it back, close the top, and then go ahead and push the push button that says push. Your master will then feed to the roller. Once it's there, go ahead and slide the top shut. So the next step is how to make a copy. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna lift up the lid on your Duplo. And you want to, you notice you'll have numbers along the side. You want to make sure you line up your original between 8.5 or 8.5 and 8.5. Use the arrow as your center reference point, okay? So what you want to do is you want to get your original and just center it like so. Now keep in mind, if your original looks like this and you have a bowl leading edge, do not scan the bowl leading edge first. Simply flip it. So your dark leading edge is on the center of the glass. This will eliminate a lot of the paper jams on your machine. So keep in mind, if it's got a dark leading edge, simply flip your original. In order for the Duplo to be cost effective, you wanna do a minimum of 20 copies per original. And now you're ready to make copies. Okay, so the next step before your copies come out, make sure you adjust your exit tray. Now you'll notice your exit tray it's already labeled with your paper sizes. So simply line up your side guides to the proper paper size, so that way your paper doesn't come flying out all over the place. And right now I simply pushed up on the back backer and it's now set for eight and a half by 11. So now you're ready to run your copies. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make my copy by pressing the blue master make button. Now keep in mind I have a zero copy count but the Duplo will automatically make one copy. Now my copy came out. I'm gonna enter how many copies I wanna make. And now I just simply press the green print button. 